there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today is a cold open where we're going to take a look at Marvel Heroes Omega. Now, this is obviously meant to be played multiplayer, so we will be playing some multiplayer chaos with this in the future with uh, Will and a couple hours. But for now, I'm going solo. I'm just going to jump in solo into this. Uh-oh. All right, damn. I got disconnected. I left this too long whenever I was actually preparing up. But Marvel Heroes Omega essentially is a Diablo-style uh, top-down quest beating dungeon crawling adventure through a series of chapters which then has progressively better loot dropping from level to level character but has a very large roster of marvel heroes to play as which is awesome i'm excited to do it uh i've, I've played through the beta for the last couple of weeks and i hammered through the story and had a great time i'd recommend checking it out oh yes fantastic because i actually didn't play and then pass over a section it's playing off this entire intro again so obviously um i'm a little bit concerned about it being a little bit overheard over me? Is that actually... Am I being heard over the top of it? Let's see. But your friends should keep most of the fighting from you. Good news is Ultron's not operating at full power. It's almost like he's distracted. That was convenient. <laughs> so obviously, um, it skipped the, first, the actual intro intro, but this is the first bit of combat. Um, I didn't complete this mission before it disconnected me, so I'm obviously going to have to play it again. Now, with uh, starting off the game, probably typical of... I'm sure you're used to know that just you do tutorial missions. This is tutorial mission. I didn't choose Cap. I would never, I'd never play as Captain America if I had the choice. It's just not a preference for me. The um, game makes you play as uh, basic Avengers uh, during an Ultron attack in the city. I think it was pretty much Age of Ultron was the, the release. The movie that came out at the right about the same time or was the, the next Avengers movie to be released in context to this, or maybe Age of Ultron was even in the comics at that point. But the. Um, you play through the first tutorial mission as different members of the typical Avengers. You know, Cap America, uh, Hulk, uh, Black Widow, Iron Man might show up here for a wee second as far as I can remember. But it's not really a full mission. It's just beating on Ultron bots. The um, cityscape and the world and the story kind of like tie into a backplot with Doctor Doom and Yuatu, the Watcher. If you don't know who Yoado is, he's a uh, big-headed people from the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 bit with Stan Lee, if you happen to have watched it. But the uh, big-headed people, they watch, they don't do, they just pay witness to all things that are happening. Whoa! Oh, bitch, per you. <laughs> Fall down. So that was actually just to reheal myself up. The um, what was I going to say? Yeah, the Watcher. So essentially, the Watcher Yuatu is having a conversation about like I have seen humanity grow, take your weaknesses into strengths, turn adversity into victory, turn accidents into responsibility. He's showing each of the superheroes as they go along, and then uh, cutting to like, but no human should have this power. Doom, and it just turns around to Doctor Doom, and he's. Holding the cosmic cube. Oh, I completely forgot about that. You see uh, Thor down in the background. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Doom's holding the cosmic cube. Or, uh, Nexus of Realities, or whatever the fuck you wanted to call it. But essentially, the, um, the big square orb of, um, ultimate power. Which, uh, in the end up. Whoa. In the lightning. Boom. That's better. Uh, the. Orb that he's holding, or the square that he's holding, is actually equal for the powers of the Watchers, and he ends up using it to essentially take down Yuatu, and that's the, the the precursor event to what happens in this, and then the story obviously unfolds over time as you play it. So we've got a fair amount of a story to go through, but it's all told through a series of animations. Now I don't know what my I might have an issue with being able to show the animation here without me talking over the top of it, but we'll probably see one after this particular fight, uh, just because. You know, it's uh, going to connect this scene to the next scene, but the uh, the scene, the animation in it reminds me a lot of the Earth Mightiest Hero animated series. Wow, Jesus, did that just hyper power itself? I think I comboed it until it made itself bigger. Host. Die! Nice job, but we can't let. Nice. Right, so this is the point where I actually get to play as whatever character I want to play as. So if you wanted to play as Hulk, you can play as Hulk. If you want to do whatever else. But I know exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to choose my favorite. Where are you, Shulky? Shulky! 
top of the shulky. Right, there you are. Jennifer Walters. Bring it on. So, try? No. <laughs> Unlock, please, lady. This is who I want. Uh, costumes, do I get the... Actually, do I have to pay extra for the uh, Law and Disorder costume? <sighs> Damn it. Yes, bye. Hey! I own She-Hulk. Oh, you're serious? I have to pay separately for that? Oh, that chica ye. Fine. 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 Oh, okay, that's annoying. <laughs> I just bought a skin that I... I, want, I, I do want the skin, but it's annoying that I actually bought the skin accidentally. That's a warning for you guys on the stream or on the channel. Like, be careful when buying characters in this. If you want a particular costume, you have to buy the character first, then you can have the costume. Can I not choose that costume now? That's who I want. Switch. Yeah. I swear to kick ass the whole ass and nothing but the ass, so help me God. Good girl. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I do love the She-Hulk. And there we go, going with the other costume, Law and Disorderly. So uh, there's obviously a massive roster here to start off with. And uh, you're going to play through one or two of these characters level 60. If you're going to play through all of them to max out the prestige and stuff, you're going to be at this a bit of a, a bit of a while. But uh, yeah, we've got Angela, which, which is weird because I... <laughs> I assume Angela was probably put in after her edition recently, but it's not a character I would have cared about showing up in Marvel Heroes. But uh, Angela, Ant-Man, Beast, Black Panther, Black Widow, Blade, Captain America, Captain Marvel, Colossus, Cyclops, Deadpool, Doctor Strange, Hulk, Hawkeye, Ghost Rider, Gambit, Iceman, Iron Fist, Iron Man, Jean Grey, Kitty Pride, Luke Cage, Magic, um, or Ilyanya, Rasputin, Moon Knight, also known as Colossus Sister, um, Nova, Psylocke, Punisher, Rocket Raccoon, Scarlet Witch, She-Hulk, Spider-Man, Squirrel Girl, Star-Lord, Storm, Thor, War Machine, and Wolverine. And I'm willing to bet their, their intention is like, <laughs> this is only the beginning of what they want to actually add into this game if they're going to keep on adding characters. Uh, to rebalance them and put them in for the story mode and let people unlock more stuff. Because each of these characters obviously have multiple costumes as well, which you can see whenever I was choosing She-Hulk. So there's plenty to try out and see. And they allow, every, you allow you to play as every character up to level 10. And then after that, you start to unlock, like, special abilities and stuff, so they can, like, start worrying about giving away too many things. Um, I've got, yeah, I've got deliveries, which will be all notes and stuff, and then fill up my inventory, so I might leave those for an army while. Um, social skills, anything else? Guides, missions? I'm not really sure at the moment, because they're going to guide me through the rest of this. So, um, yeah, we're actually going to go through the actual first mission of Marvel Hero with Omega. Let's see what we got. Exterminate. Punchy times. Punch them all, Jennifer. Punch. Diving punch. All the punches. You are a greater fool than I imagine. Ah, bring it on, Ulti. You're just a beta. Did he just turn his fucking power attack in their opposite direction? Ah! <laughs> you suck. Yeah, that actually was way too easy. I'm getting Oh, cool. Uh, just added it to the top because so I only had three skills at the top. So you can see there that in the menu what kind of uh, attacks, uh, like how big of a range of attacks you have. You, you break up your own loadout to take on eight skills and use those predominantly. And because I've played through the beta quite a bit with She-Hulk, I've got a build that I always work to, I'm going to work towards her. Okay. Yes. Hello, Maria. Good job dealing with Ultron, but just when one situation gets resolved and another one rears his head, or in this case, heads. Ha <laughs> You cut off one head, and they continue on. So see these uh, Eternity Splinters to the side, over on the um, opposite side of the screen? The Eternity Splinters are stuff that you can use to buy the same stuff you buy in the game with uh, real-life currency. You can still you can buy most of it with Eternity Spears as well, so that's actually for different skins, uh, unless they're premium skins, and for each of the characters you can buy using this. So if I had gone bother of playing through the game, which I did whenever I played, if I wrong enough in the beta, I didn't spend any of my in-game currency currency on characters. I just used it on storage space during the beta. But the um, 
in the game to buy She-Hulk, I actually used these Eternity Splinters, which by the time you complete what the game of one character, if you go to the bother of like buying War Machine, which is the cheapest one I can think of off the top of my head, unless you're, yeah, the cheapest one would be War Machine because he's on PS Plus deal. Uh, if you complete with him, you can buy another character with easily with the money charge you get it, you get just by running through it. And then if you start increasing, like have rare item drops increased on your character using specific equipment and stuff, you get insane amounts. See, like you take down a root group of five guys and you get six of these. So it's very easy to build them up to build, uh, buy yourself a character. Or the drop rate could have been heavily tweaked in the beta for all for all I know. But we'll see whenever I'm playing through this. It's weird because I'm actually drawing my eye line to the uh, chat rather than actually to the camera. Sorry about that. <laughs> Is realized. Now you have 400 Eternity Splinters. This is the currency used to unlock heroes and other in-game items. Eternity Splinters drop from defeated enemies throughout the game. Okay, well, they give you four to start off with, 400 to start off with, which is enough to buy some of the characters, which is great. Um, I'm just going to go to the raft. Yeah, sweet, works for me. <laughs> Heads up, people. This is Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. I've called you here because we have a bit of a situation. As we speak. God damn, I love your voice, Goliath. <laughs> This is the fact, even if I talk over the top of him and the voice goes down for him, it's still going to be ridiculously over the control on this side. Like Green Goblin. Saber Sabertooth. Sabertooth in his old costume, too. And a very muscular fucking version of Dr. Octopus? What the fuck? I'm Dr. Octagonopus. Your help. Get to the raft and do what you can. So you can see how this cutscene was done with uh, like a, the old school comics where it's like sliding stills and stuff. Uh, the actual like intro intro was done with full animation. I was really excited to see that, but obviously it doesn't go throughout the entire game. Home to the worst prisoners on earth. Oh shit! Yeah, I have to do the raft mission first for uh, first mission. Completely forgot about that. And punchy, punchy, punchy times. Boom! The bitch went down. Boom! Oh, he didn't go down. <laughs> there we go. And a pair of like gloves to upgrade myself with. Delightful. Alright, so essentially that's what happened with the gear. You just grab gear, throw it onto the right spot. Uh, you're per going to be perpetually, perpetually doing that. Because drops are fairly common, and especially if you start going for like big drop. Uh, gear that actually like drops more stuff you'll find more drops even if you're um not going to use them it's kind of good to have them to sell on if you're just going to have your pockets full in between missions because there's plenty of places where you can just sell scrap gear what's this uh, living laser is in there well ain't that delightful let's go and see him <laughs> whoopsie managed to kill all four of them in one go that was terrible. <laughs> I feel so bad. Whoops. Oh, dead guys. Whoopsie. Oh, I feel, feel terrible. I'm not even using... The thing is, I'm not even using any of the... Um, I haven't used my distance move yet. I'm just kind of like, use combo. Punch guy. Two, three, four, boom. Jump. <laughs> oh, man. Whoops, I forgot. Accidentally lifting things. Uh, yep, need to go into equipment and put on some clothes. Boom. Defense. All good. I need a jolt! Well, you go ahead and do that. I'm not even concerned about watching him because I've actually played through this mission so many times. I'm like, I know he's going to show up over here. Yep. Oh, go away. I'm not going back in that cell.
And that was a fairly relaxing beat through. <laughs> so every time you beat a boss in this game, you actually get medals, uh, which can be rare or good or whatever else. Uh, but you do need to check, like to see if they're actually of relevance to you. Like that one's when you use a movements per you get 42 damage rating to range powers for 10 seconds. So my range attacks, but the problem I'm playing is a character that really is not ranged. Although I suppose, I mean, does my jump into range count? Well, I still think it counts as melee. But thing, the only thing is that my lawyer letters will take a boost of damage whenever I jump away from somebody. Um, anything else to grab in there? Yes, there was a uh, business attire, which is her secondary armor, and nothing else. Boom. Let's continue on. I did get it. I was kind of mildly disappointed to lose absolutely everything I got in the beta. It would be nice if they had given us a little reward other than just giving us our money back, like the stuff that we'd spent on the Founders gear. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Ah! So we'll probably just play through the uh, end of this mission and see the next cutscene, just for your your guys' preferences or chances to see the, the beginning of the game here for Cold Open. But this game's not going anywhere soon. I'm probably going to be playing a lot of this on um, live stream in the future, so you're more than welcome to join me. Because uh, the intention is to actually get uh, the crew together and play this as a group, because like any of the Diablo games, it's so much more fun whenever you have a party, and it's just so much more destructive. You just hammer through so much more stuff. Boom. Whoops, say they're all dead. So, Venom, what are you doing? Well, uh-oh. I just wish you could have gotten here sooner to stop the bleeding. Did I just let Venom out intentionally? Or was it just the fact that it stopped people from getting killed? I can't even remember. I can't even remember the context as to why I actually let Venom out. But bring it on, Normie. Oh, look. It's time to play. Is it, Normie? Oh, you fuck. You are a cockbird, aren't you? <laughs> and down you go, Normie. Has about a well, that's that done and dusted. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can actually take a look at this. Does this improve? When your health dropped below 30%, drink the goblin formula. And my health is never, ever going to go down that low, so I might as well keep the one that I currently have. Neither of them are actually that good, really, at this point at the very beginning. But now that we've completed the raft mission, I think we can get back to Avengers Tower. Yep, that's better. Oi, guys, stop shooting. You can chill the hell out now. I took a guy and everything. Time to travel to Avengers Star! The raft assault was a spectacular success, if I do say so myself. Thanks to Hydra. Bedlam in the streets of New York. And the list. Yes, the entire. I'm not too sure if I actually like the Doom voice in this. Dr. Octopus, Modoc, Wizard, what does Dr. Doom gain from their freedom? And with this, we end our transaction. This is it. This technology exploits a flaw in Tony Stark's security system. Well then, hail Hydra. Be gone. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about Hydras. Bizarre, weak, 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 weak example snake people. I... I stumbled over that so bad. I, I thought I had a I had a Spider-Man level quip, and I failed it. Didn't have the opportunity. God damn. So as you can see, the uh, hub areas, places like the Avengers Tower, and there's a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, players wandering around, sitting here chatting. Anybody you can see there that's actually in their 60s are people who have completed the game pretty much. And then anybody who has like wee orbs around them are generally people who are prestige. But the game being only out since the 19th and we're about three days in, you can tell the people who have uh, not much else to do other than play those. So <laughs> I wonder about a few people who've actually been doing multiple characters, but there are plenty of people who've been just hammering out a single character this entire time. So I get to go and pick up another mission, but I think I will take a quick wander around here and show you some of the places. So there's a little, oh, what's that? Marvelous Essence Exchange? Ooh, more rare item stuff. So, um, that wasn't there whenever I was playing the beta. It was just the uh, person over here. 
who's selling bits and pieces of legendary marks. Um, but yeah, that was clear. This is a storage space where you put all your shit that you don't want to have in your pockets, and it's limited as well as your pocket space, so you will either be spending real money to level that up and have more space, or you will be burning a lot of gear or just selling it. Uh, same thing here with um, upgrades here. All stores, all of them actually have a level or information about them that whenever you talk to them for the... And you... Oh, yeah, crafting. Oh, wow. Yeah, the research. That's the research one. I need one that actually has uh, levels. Yeah. So you can donate and actually level up. And then whenever you level them up, they actually will be able to sell you more items of more relevance and more rarity. Especially when it comes to stuff like spare parts and uh, readouts and whatever else that you need for research materials. But yeah, everybody here obviously has a context and reason for being. They're all like soldiers and stuff. Caitlin Kips. I don't recognize these names. I'm sure there actually are people who are fairly... Brian Wagner. I think that actually... I don't know if that's actually staff references or actually characters or soldiers that have appeared a number of times before. Uh, over here, of course, you actually have we side missions as well with uh, Jessica Jones and Ben Urch. Which, to be honest, uh, like Jessica Jones, I think, actually is one of my summons as a later move. But um, you can't play as her directly, can you? You can't play as Jessica directly, no. Uh, ben Urich, of course, the reporter, got uh, his own little news stories to be talking about. Oh, relics to actually do exchanges with. So that's the saying. Again, relics and other stuff are things just that you pick up along the way and you can exchange for better gear. There's storage over here. Uh, there's a couple of missions. Oh, my doppelganger. Oh! The quick explanation they give, the fact that Spider-Woman isn't in this, it's kind of surprised me. Uh, the fact that you're running into doppelgangers yourself, they explain it away as the, the the universe has gone wonky. There's a whole bunch of versions of all of us kind of wandering around. Why is that? And that's a reasonable enough explanation whenever everybody's playing as the same character, if they feel like playing as the same character. Which I found quite a lot during the beta, because obviously on the state side, uh, before we came over to over here in the EU, the, um, the cheapest character you could buy was the... PlayStation Plus war, war Machine. So there were so many War Machines just wandering around because people had, like, we're going to burn through with that one character and complete it first before they actually went and bought anybody else. So you could actually see entire roving teams of War Machines, four or five of them abreast, running through uh, areas. But yeah, that's the basic, the main first hub area. Like I said, it's Diablo-esque. It's a top-down adventuring game. Uh, it's fun with uh, characters that you want to play as. Uh, the quips don't get too annoying. There's a lot of individual quips that a, a lot of heroes will say to each other as they pass by each other, which I haven't really let you hear because I've been talking non-stop for the last few while. But um, yeah, this is actually Marvel Heroes Omega. Uh, you can see pretty much what the entirety of the gameplay is like from that little snippet I just showed you. Uh, obviously, there's uh, more difficult boss battles. There's open access areas that are not just quite so linear, but they just have repeatable missions over and over again. This is what this game is, and then you just get the fun and pleasure of playing it along with a group of friends. There is uh, a danger room, kind of like randomly generated missions thing that is built into this as well. There's also a... Um, but kind of like, a, what is the PvP thing in this? God, I, I don't think I actually even played one bit of that during the beta. So that'll be someone I might talk about and show in later videos whenever I've leveled up my characters and can be mildly competitive, which I've never been that good with in the first place. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been a cold open for Passage of Skin. If you enjoyed me talking about Marvel Heroes Omega and you would like to actually know more about it and see more about it, then make sure to comment underneath. I will actually put up more videos sooner rather than later if it's actually something you want to hear more about. And if you enjoyed me talking about it, make sure to hit the subscribe button up above or the follow button down below or any of the likes and whatever buttons that go along with this kind of context that you've seen this in and you of course if you can't find me through any of those and you don't want to actually go to the bother of like subscribing because it's kind of hard to actually manage your subscription whatever the hell it is you know of course just search right underneath me where it says passage of skin see that that word just type it into google it's easy to find me i'm not trying to hide i'm going I'm, I'm right there in front of your face the moment you look for me so thank you very much for watching and uh, of course if you're on the youtube there'll be three boxes coming up on the side those three will actually tell you another episode in the series of Cold Open, not only related to this in the far side, and then one personally chosen just for you right there. That'll be based on Google Analytics and whatever else, just to make sure that it's something that you already want to watch. So click that one. It's right there. It's picked for you. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.